Well, all right. Good evening. Uh, this is a devotion for uh, Monday evening, April 13th. And um, I want to, uh, us to consider uh, this event that happened uh, during the resurrection of our Lord Jesus in John chapter 20. Um, we begin with, with Mary Magdalene going to the tomb. Jesus isn't there. She runs and tells the disciples that the body is gone. Peter and John go back to the tomb. They don't see Jesus there. And then they go back up to their to, to the upper room where Mary, we find afterwards, is there at the tomb weeping, believing that someone has stolen the body. And as she's weeping, uh, we find uh, this. Uh, starting in verse 14. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, starting at verse 11. But Mary stood outside by the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been laid. And then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know what, that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? And she, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and said, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. And Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. And I just want to focus a little bit on verse 17. Jesus said to her, to Mary, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. I just want to stop there. Because there's something that Mary is doing that Jesus is talking about. After she realized that this was Jesus, she was grabbing hold of him. And Jesus said, don't cling to me. And he wasn't just saying to her, look, get your hands off of me. In fact, he wasn't. that wasn't really the point. The point, though, is that he's saying to her, look, I know you're happy. I know you're glad to see me. I know you're amazed. But understand that these are different times now. I'm not going to be walking the earth like I used to. I'm going to be ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. And now that times are different, you need to, to walk with me in a new way, in a different way than when we, were, when we were before. So what Jesus is saying is that a new season had come. Uh, he was going to fill them with the Holy Spirit. They were going to go out into the world and make disciples. He wasn't going to be physically on the earth anymore. He was going to be ascending into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He was going to pour out his Holy Spirit into his body, the church. And the church was to do the work that he had done prior to that. So uh, what was being said there then is that a new season has come, and it's time for Mary and all the disciples to learn how to walk in that new season as the Lord gives us the Holy Spirit and teaches us how to walk. And I think that's very important for us to consider today because uh, no matter what happens with this coronavirus deal, um, we're in a new season, a new chapter in our lives. Things will not be the same as they were prior to this time. And it's for us to listen to the Lord, to follow him by his word and his spirit so that he can show us 
how we are to behave and how we are to walk in this new season. Now, I personally tend to see this new season as the beginning of a time when we are getting closer to the end, closer uh, to the, the time of the Antichrist, closer uh, to the time, praise the Lord, when our Lord Jesus will return. I believe that we are moving closer to that one new world order uh, that will be wicked. Uh, I believe that we are going to lose more of our rights uh, as a nation. And I believe uh, that there, there is going to be a time of deep confusion and fear on the earth, especially among those who have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and don't know him. But I also believe this will be a great season of change, holy change, for a great many people. And just as before, the Lord is going to use the body of Christ by the power of his Holy Spirit. But we need to be listening to what he's telling us so that we can be effective in this new time. There are some things that we will need to have changed in us so that we're ready and available for what the Lord has for us to do now. Some things will remain the same, but a lot will be different. And that means we need to keep our spiritual eyes and ears and hearts open to what God is doing so that uh, being faithful to his word, being led by his spirit, we are not missing the opportunities to lead people to salvation uh, as we enter into this new phase in human history. So today, let's remember that Jesus lives. And just as there was a time of change that came so that the body of Christ had to switch over uh, to something new because Jesus was not going to be physically with them anymore. Now, in this particular time, as we move uh, into a, a, a another phase of the return of the Lord, we need to be ready, and we need to be ready to change with however it is the Lord wants us to change in how we evangelize, uh, in how we how we uh, are are available to people, uh, how we uh, how we share the gospel, and and uh, how we how we interact with people. We need to be open to what the Spirit's going to do, and then follow the Holy Spirit, so that we can in this new time be effective witnesses for Christ. So let's pray, Lord. Uh, we know there are changes in life, and uh, we know that, that we're not in charge of what's going on, but we know that, you're, that you are, and so we're not afraid. But we ask now, Lord, that you would keep our eyes and our ears and our hearts open to what you're doing now, so that we don't miss this moment that you're opening up for the salvation of many souls. Uh, Lord, uh, we know that there are some things that we used to be able to do, uh, well, that's that's done with, and now we're going to have to do some other things. Uh, Lord, we ask that that you would make us ready for the changes that you're making so that we can be effective witnesses to you wherever we are and however you lead us. And we ask this in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. All right. God bless you.